photography or something. Holy cow. Wow, so big. Yeah, the pool is 75 feet long. Is it heated? Yeah, it's all geothermally heated. So I could go swimming in there. Yeah. Okay. Really? Uh, the water is kept at plus or minus 2 degrees and the air temperature is kept at 80. So generally the water is between 80 and 82. Really? So. That is amazing. So what does the chlorine do to the building on the inside? This is a salt water pool. Oh, okay. So that's the key, it's salt water. Salt water, and it keeps it, uh, this is a high-tech pool. It, it keeps the pH perfect. This is amazing. Have you really? Yeah. So. Well, you've, now you've had me. <laughs> no big deal. So here's a question. How blast rated is this park compared to the rest of the bunker? It's 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 equivalent for a blast radius for a surface blast because of that wedge shape that I told you about. Yeah. Shockwave would go right over it, and it's uh, sufficiently strong for that. So what we got here? Now this is connected right next to the slide. This is the pit for the pump for the circulation, the chlorinator, uh, automatic acid reservoir keeps the pH right. It's got an autofill thing over here, and that's the pump for the waterfall. So here's a good question: Are there full-time engineers here to run the shelter when the yeah. time comes? There's full-time people here, They're not engineers. I'm an engineer. Uh, I've got two master's degrees, uh, one in engineering. So, uh, now that goes to the garage. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's inside of that big door. So this whole area has its own set of blast valves in different humidity settings and different temperature settings for the pool. So it's a separate self-contained airspace. So it's uh But this is a protected area? Yes. If you didn't put those uh, humidity and uh, thermal like, uh, temperature limits higher than what's in there, you'd be freezing every time you're out of the pool. So this keeps it. Well, I might do some skinny dipping down here later since it's connected to my room. Oh, that's right. You got cameras, don't you? Uh-oh. This is our bar lounge in here. So, uh, yeah, the uh, psychologist said, you know, one of the, I actually lost a sale over putting this bar in here because there was a Mormon that didn't want to. I mean, deal with a bar in here uh, home in Utah. And you haven't left the state, but you don't want to live in here because we have a bar. What's the total count of security cameras throughout? Right now, 54. Well, that's not that bad. No. I, I just put 25 in my factory. Now, what's this do right here? That's a part of the restaurant. Hold on. I can control those TVs. Oh, okay. You can watch what the kids are watching in there. You can bring up sports. It's a direct TV and satellite system in here, too. That's what that Impressive. What you do. But the, the elevator head is on the bottom floor, so you got to walk the So you have fire escape stairs throughout the whole thing all the way up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I can see up there. Yeah, it's interesting. I get asked by some people. What kind of building codes do you have here? You know what? That's a really, really good question. And the answer is, this facility was engineered to a building code that's called the International Building Code for Inhabited Underground Structures. And it's one of the strictest building codes in the world. So do they have, like, a, like the, on the stairs, do they have a 7-inch max riser and 11-inch oh, run? The risers, the width, the railing height. Yeah. Well, stairs. these are all new stairs. I used to build these. Yeah. yeah. Well, here's all your food. Some of it. Some of it. We got spread all over the place. So were any of the uh, food brands fighting for your business or, nah? Now these have dates on them? Yeah, I'm sure they Right. So, uh, anyway. Oh, walk-in freezer? When people, yeah, this is uh, about 30 below zero, 20 below. And what's inside there right now? A lot of stuff. Really? Oh, that's a big walk-in. Oh, yeah. Each unit that has its own individual stuff, so that you can put your own stuff in it. But that's for unit seven north. Wow, it is cold in here. Wow, I'd freeze to death really quick in here. I don't even want to mess with you. You might joke around with me. <laughs> so there's a wireless monitor. They were building the entrance. That there's two sensors, one here, one in the back corner. That if, if the temperature got up close to zero, it would uh, send an email out over the internet and would page me over the cell system and uh, send me a text message. Wow. And, as well as three other people. That's smart. What's that called? Uh, part of our building management system. We have a dual compressor system here so that we exercise these. We have it scheduled here, and we run for about a month on one side, and then we shut that one up and run it for a month on the other side. But if there's ever a breakdown, we don't have to worry about it. We can fix it while it's running out the other one. And so we've got, you know, 100% redundancy. And, you know, for, uh, you know, they've got $100,000 to do that. And that, that 100 kW Caterpillar diesel generator, just one of them will run this whole bunker and clean that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, in the pool. In the pool. That's amazing. Yeah. Going back for an elevator ride. Now, where are we going to now? 13. 13. We're going to go all the way up.
We'll skip a few of the oh, Yeah, because they're, they're repetitive, right? Yeah. Well, in the prime well, I want to see the ones that are for sale. Yeah, that's what I'm going to show you. We're on the 10th and 11th floor. Exercise and spa level. United States Olympic team. Okay, oh, gymnasium. Rubber floors. Yeah, I can smell that rubber. It's a nice, Kim. Yeah. And all, what, almost 10 foot ceilings. Oh, yeah. uh, you got saunas. You got a sauna and a steam room. Oh, wow. Because there's a shower around the corner. So you either come down here, get a workout, take a sauna, take a shower in here. If you don't want to take a shower, you go up to your unit and take a shower in your own unit. So here's a question. Are you going to do another silo like this in your lifetime? or? The test out one has all 